Look, look, look. I just think of this pyro, I don't write it nor take my time They spending days trying to think of a lie, yo The truth before Mark, I sold grams and kept it business with the plug, fam I'm just linking the bio It's the guy G Holy, repping GHoly.com And, um, Nicki fans be getting bent the fuck out of shape So let me say that I'm saying everything that I'm saying respectfully Like, this is a music opinion This is totally objective, I don't have anything against Nicki Minaj Um great artist now i was supposed to do a reaction i'm new to this shit i don't know i fucking i don't know i saw the video it came out came across my phone because you know even though i'm not following Nicki, Min like i'm not subscribed to Nicki minaj but the shit just shows up on my phone as oh Nicki got a new video out it's late at night i just click the shit and watch it forgetting that i wanted to like start doing reactions so now i can't even react to the shit so i guess i'll just review it um i had too much to say about this shit um this is what i'm gonna say um if i was nikki <sighs> she in a space where she like starting to sound older like starting to sound like an older act it wasn't that little baby like really killed her. Like he did like baby body this verse, but he just sounded the way you're supposed to sound on them type of beats because it's like more his type of production. You get what I'm saying? And um Nikki don't be really rapping on shit like that. So like when you hear Nikki on like put it this way, Nikki sound way more comfortable on Chirac than she sound on this. Chirac is really not her type of like regular flow either, but she sound way more comfortable on Chirac than she sound on Do We Have a Problem. The 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 whole gangster shit, like with the you know, pulling up on ops and shit, like I don't know, it's a little weird to hear from Nikki, but nothing too far out of her range where she ain't been like the last few years she been super gangster, so like that's that don't ain't really the whole thing was really the production honestly i think that this would this would nikki gotta get right or all superstars because nikki is a superstar like she has a superstar brand i think she's an all-star rapper and she has a superstar brand so uh, in this scenario i'm gonna call her a superstar right she just overproduces songs or gets songs that's overproduced like the sound of whatever is happening right now is very minimalist. It's very minimalistic. It's like nobody sounds like they putting too much effort into production. Even if they are, it just don't come off like it. Into production, into vocals, into really not everything right now that works sounds super organic. Right? So the first verse she sounded kind of she ain't sound too comfortable. She really didn't sound too comfortable in that pocket. But then, like, around eight bars, she hit the stride. Like, around eight bars, it started to be like, okay. Like, maybe, like, bar six, it started to be like, okay. And the first verse was dope. Um, Ended up being, like, a cool joint. Like, playing it back. I was like, all right, cool. Baby came on, and he, he just, he made it his song. He really made it his song. And then, see, the first time I watched it, I watched... The video version so on the video version i don't think they got her third verse like or i was just watching the for the video is so chopped up maybe i don't know maybe it's in there and it just was weird but i don't think they got the third verse on the video version um but when i listened to like the audio it had a third verse on it and that third verse she sounded even worse not only did she sound even worse it was like unnecessary the verse was unnecessary you know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. Like, right now, when they doing these type of songs, these these super young acts, they leaving that shit at two verses. Like, a song like that, they would leave at two verses and let it go. The fact that she came back and then the verse wasn't better than... The first verse was way better than the third verse. So, it just seemed like a little unnecessary. You get what I'm saying? But, overall, I just think the production had too many... She had some slick lines, too. But I think the production had too many um, pop elements to it. Like, 
It was like it was going for a specific sound, like a more modern street sound, like the sound that's not drill, but you know, it's not uh the baby rock stars like in the middle somewhere. But production, like some of the some of the sounds they used in it would just sound it too poppy. It just it sounds like a too polished version of what they was going for. It's too overthought overproduced and like just it's just too polished in general and it sound like it and it come off like it so i wouldn't say it's a bad joint like like if i had to rate it uh it'd be like a six out of ten but i, I wouldn't say if i'm gonna come back because she in over 300 days she has had a single um that that she led so if this is the the Nicki Minaj comeback after I just watched that video where she said I'm gonna return to mixtape Nicki, yeah, this ain't this not this not what I was thinking. This this not what I had in mind at all. Like I thought it was gonna be like, you know, put the beat on is gonna be just some bars, really. You know what I'm saying? Because other than this is the when I thought about it though, I don't even know why I thought that because at the same exact time, mixtape Nicki wasn't really no like lyrical monster anyway like not that she couldn't rap i'm saying she was going more for hits even on the mixtapes like when you think about it itty bitty piggy it's like she took the soldier boy dunk made it another type of hit that was like even just more pop you get what i'm saying it just was like going for hits i get crazy like that's going for a hit record shit like that you get what i'm saying so yeah i'm i'm just it's cool if this don't end up on the album and it's just like some warm up stuff and like it's cool as a single to drop as like, you know, but if this, yeah, this going to be like filler on the album if she put it on the album. So yeah, six out of 10, baby did his thing. Nikki, Nikki did her thing too. She just didn't sound super comfortable. The third verse was unnecessary. The production got one too many pop elements in it. Don't really feel organic like that. Don't really feel like the way rap feels right now. Really wasn't in the pocket. And um, put it this way. Lil Baby wouldn't put that shit on his album. Never. Guaranteed. So yeah, that's my take on it, man. Gioli.com. I'm doing reactions to all the other shit that came out. So I'm doing like nine reactions. Make sure you subscribe so you can get all these reactions. And you can see my face when these people are saying all these stupid ass rhymes. Nah, I hope they, I hope this shit is hot. But I'm going to review shit. So I mean uh, react to shit. So yeah, just subscribe. Hit the bell as well. I always wanted to say that. Fantano be saying that shit. But yeah, I'm out of here. Fake winners. <laughs> we really eating over here. Them niggas fake living. Bunch of fake niggas. Man, get me started on these fake niggas.